It happens over and over again in my wheat belly and undoctored programs. People lose weight, often at a rapid clip, and in their enthusiasm to see what happens to their cholesterol and other blood values, they have labs drawn. And they see a disastrous, confusing panel. Or their doctor doesn't know any better and checks those kinds of lab values, also not understanding what's happening during weight loss. So it really helps understand what you're experiencing when you undergo weight loss. So fat is stored as triglycerides. That's what fat is. If you have olive oil or butter or coconut oil, those are all forms of triglycerides. Or when you have fat in your body, it's stored as triglycerides. So when you lose weight, all those triglycerides are mobilized into the bloodstream. So there's a flood of triglycerides, fat, into the bloodstream. If you lose one pound, you've seen those pictures, haven't you? The big glob of one pound of fat, it's a huge amount. 3,500 calories worth of fat is mobilized into the bloodstream. And what if you lose five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds? It's a huge amount of triglycerides being mobilized and circulated through the blood. Well, that introduces all sorts of distortions into the particles and other lab values in the bloodstream that become evident when you have labs drawn. Now, keep in mind, this is normal. This is natural. This is part of the pro normal process of weight loss. So when you mobilize all those triglycerides and some fatty acids, etc., they often travel the bloodstream as VLDL, or very low density lipoprotein particles. And those particles like to interact with other particles. It causes a dramatic drop in HDL, cholesterol. It can trigger formation of small LDL particles that ordinarily lead to heart disease because VLDL interacting with LDL particles causes them to become small LDL particles via fairly complex reaction. And that is often regarded as a, cardio a cardiovascular risk factor. That flood of triglycerides also blocks the action of insulin. So you have an increase in insulin resistance that's also temporary and your blood sugar can go up and your blood pressure can go up. In other words, there are substantial distortions in numerous factors in the process of weight loss. So what's the answer here? Don't draw blood when you're losing weight because it will confuse you, it will confuse your doctor. It makes values like cholesterol panels virtually uninterpretable. So the key here is don't have labs drawn, don't have blood drawn during active weight loss or if you've lost weight within the last four weeks. Unless you really must have blood drawn for an emergency or some other purpose like that. But for chronic, everyday type of laboratory values like cholesterol panels and blood sugars, resist the temptation to see what the values are because they will be uninterpretable. But that's natural and normal. It's a, it's a result of having mobilized all that fat into your bloodstream. Just be patient. Now, also keep in mind that some measures recover at a different rate. For instance, small LDL particles disappear rapidly on this kind of a program. Triglycerides drop over several weeks. VLDL particles drop over several weeks. HDL rises over a couple of years, okay? So bear in mind that these are just changes in weight loss. Whatever you do, don't let your doctor try to treat those values because it's not a disease, it's just a normal physiologic process.